They say that sometimes love starts with a spark, and that might be true, but if I were to wish you a love, I wouldn't wish fire for you. You see, fire is powerful. It burns bright and then it's gone. It's beautiful and warm, but it doesn't last long. So instead of wishing you a love that burns, I wish you a love that, like a river that twists and turns. It changes and it flows. It is powerful and free, but it consistently finds its way back to the sea. And so like the water, I hope your love is ever growing, ever changing. I hope your love is powerful and free. And may you always find each other like the river finds the sea. Ross and Catherine have chosen today as their wedding day, a celebration of their commitment now and for their future together. Marriage is confirmation of the love, respect and friendship they have for each other. The vows they exchange will unite them as husband and wife with words that are a pledge of their love and a promise of lifelong dedication. When two people pledge their love and care for each other within a marriage, they create a spirit which binds them closer than any spoken or written words. I, Ross David Curtin McDowell. Take you, Catherine Marie Wallace. Take you, Catherine Marie Wallace. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. I, Catherine Marie Wallace. Take you, Ross David Curtin McDowell. Take you, Ross David Curtin McDowell. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. Catherine, I give you this ring as a symbol of our marriage. I promise to give you my love and friendship, to be there for when you need me the most. <laughs> <laughs> Through the good times and the bad, to trust you and to comfort you to support you in all that you do. All that I have, I share with you. These promises I make to you for the rest of our lives together. Ross, I give you this ring as a symbol of our marriage. I promise to give you my love and friendship, to be there for you when you need me most, for the good times and the bad, to trust you and to comfort you, to support you in all you do. All that I have, I share with you. <laughs> These promises I make to you for the rest of our lives together. It is with my greatest pleasure that I declare that you are legally joined together in marriage as husband and wife. Many congratulations and if you wish, you may share your first kiss. So to start off by saying how absolutely beautiful she looks today, and I wrote that before I'd even seen her. <laughs> and that dress looks absolutely stunning on her. Catherine's been there for me throughout some of the hardest times in my life, and she's still by me when others probably would have run for the hills, um, more so over recent years. I've been privileged, privileged enough to watch her grow from a beautiful, kind, nerdy, yet timid teenager when we first got together to a woman now who's headstrong, has grown a backbone, and is someone who values life and people for what it is. I'll start by saying that I'm a very lucky man today because I get to be the best man at the wedding of two of my best friends. I know that anyone that has met either of them will agree they're two of the best people you could ever meet. You can see their generous, thoughtful nature show through in their jobs. You can see their quality reflected in their wonderful family and friends, many of whom are sat here now. But mostly you can see it in the amazing relationship they've built together that we're all here today to celebrate.
It's been a huge pleasure to welcome you to our family. We have over the years come to think of you as the son that we never asked for. Um, Sirius, you're a great guy and uh, we are very proud of you, as I'm sure your parents are. Obviously you love my daughter and she loves you, which is very important to me and to Lorraine. Um, I know you'll look after her. We love you to bits and we're very happy that, you've, uh, that you're the one that she chose. My beautiful daughter, Catherine. You've been a wonderful daughter. You've made us very proud and today has been one of the proudest days of, uh, of mine and your mum's life. Catherine, you've filled my heart with love and uh, lots and lots of memories that I want to cherish. I love you to the moon and back. To many years of happiness for this lovely couple. To Ross and Catherine McDowell. Well done. I've learned over the past few years to learn to love what we have so we don't want more. Life can be really simple if we put it into perspective. All we have to do is love each other and we can try to have fun. The rest will work itself out. Catherine is the best person in the world in my eyes and there's not a chance that I'd want to do life without her by my side. Um, so I love you Catherine. Um, so I'd like to raise a glass to Catherine for being the most beautiful, understanding, amazing person in this whole world and now my wife. To Catherine. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise, it's Ross!